Hi, this is Richie from Midas. This is part two of upgrading the Midas Pro consoles. The first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make sure the console is configured with its adjoining I.O. and engine and that everything is in a green status. Doing that, we need to go into Diagnostics and we need to make sure we've configured everything within this window. So everything should be in the green status. Once we're happy everything is configured and we're ready to start the upgrade, we can use the USB we've set up in part one and put this into the console. You'll notice I'm putting the USB stick into the active master controller. This is the master controller with the blue light next to it. Now because I've got a number of upgrades on my USB stick, a window has cropped up to say that multiple upgrades have been found. I'm going to OK that. Home, Preferences, Upgrade. Once I've scrolled across through the upgrade menu, I can go into the desired upgrade and run it at this point. As we can see, the Midas console updater is now running and it's uncompressing the files to start the upgrade process. Now the updater has completely started, we can look in the window, we can see what components need to be updated. You can see in this particular system, which is a Pro X with a 571 engine and a mic splitter, there are a number of components we can select to upgrade. If you want to simply select one component, we can select it and run the update mechanism. If not, and a more safe way of upgrading the system is to select all components and upgrade everything as a system. The way we do that is we select all and we simply click the update now button. The system is now warning me that power removal is not advisable as this will cause problems to the flash components within the console. It's now asking me if I would like to back up any shows that are on the console. In this particular case, I don't want to back up the shows. It's also asking me if I'd like to reset the console. Again, I don't want to reset the console, so I'm going to say no thank you. Now the system is upgrading and in process. At this point we can see that the upgrade process is now completed, so we can click OK at this point. We can see that all components have successfully upgraded, they're all green. We can click Quit. We mustn't switch off the console, we need to let the console reset itself. We can now remove the USB stick. We now need to power the system and all of the components we've upgraded two occasions. So what we're going to do, we're going to trigger a shutdown process from the console. We're going to power cycle the system, we're going to repeat that process. We're also going to do the same on any I.O. boxes which are attached and also the engine. I'm Richie from Midas, thanks for watching.